Hello and welcome. This video is to show how Kerberos works. First of all, we look about what is Kerberos. Kerberos is a set of managed nodes that share the same Kerberos database. The Kerberos database resides on the Kerberos master computer system, which should be kept in a physically secure room. Changing or accessing the contents of a Kerberos database requires the Kerberos master password. Other than that, users in one realm may need access to servers in other realms, and some servers may be willing to provide service to users from other realms, provided that those users are authenticated. Now we look about a sample process. Realm A. Adhere AS is authentication server. TGS is ticket granting server. Request ticket for local TGS. Clients send request to a TGT, ticket granting ticket, which includes the user ID and the TGS. Ticket for local TGS. AS returns ticket granting ticket identifying information for the client and a block encrypted using the encryption key base on the user's password specified in the request. Request ticket for remote TGS. Client request for an authenticator, ticket and the name of the requested service, requested times, option for ticket and a nonce. Ticket for remote TGS. TGS returns a ticket plus information needed by the client, with the information encrypted using the session key now shared by the client and the TGS. Realm B. It will be the remote server that will be communicated by Realm A. Request ticket for remote server. The client request an option that mutual authentication is required. Ticket for remote server. If mutual authentication is required the TGS responds with a message that includes the timestamp from the authenticator. The optional field specifies the starting sequence number to be used by the client. Request remote service. Client request service from remote server. Thank you for watching.